Hi my friends, today we model this part. You see it is very nice. Dimensions are here. We start by creating this contour 50 10, 12, and 20. New standard millimeter CPT. New sketch XY plane. And we select this to create a slot. The center is placed on the center point this dimension is 50 the radius is 10 and we continue with this line and now I keep press the left button and I go back to the line. This is tangent to this, radius 12, and we continue with the horizontal. I keep press the left button, I go up and I go to find the tangent. I don't find. I place it manually. I eliminate this line. I place here a dimension of 20. And on the same vertical are these two points. I can trim this because I don't lose any dimension. Good. A dimension is uh, needed and I make equal this arc with this arc, the radius. Then extrude on six millimeters okay next is uh, the ring this oval dimensions 23 radius 17.5 46.5 and this uh, 24.5 the section is with radius 20, radius 3 and 9 millimeters here. You have to consider this arc as tangent with this for the dimension of 24.5. Okay, we use this plane for a new sketch. F7 I apply arc with center to be placed here then line but I want to create arc keep press the left button go somewhere here keep pressed again and go here these two arcs are equal ending arcs the vertical no this is this is uh, horizontal is vertical this point 
and this point on the same vertical. Also this end with this point, this end with this point. 24.5 is the distance here. 24.5 23 is this radius 17.5 and radius 46.5 now we have only one dimension to be Add it, and this is the distance between these two points 12. Finish sketch. Now we create a new plane based on this arc and this point to create a section F5 to see the same view. We project this point because it is not part of the sketch of a new sketch and we create again an arc like this one we apply line to create an arc. I keep press the left button and I go here. I keep press the left button to somewhere here. And again, keeping press the left button, I go to connect the two arcs. I apply tangent because it was missing. You can verify tangents as you can see. Then I place on the same horizontal these two points on the same vertical the other two and on the same horizontal this with this on the same vertical this with this dimensions radius 3 radius 20 and I didn't apply equal to these two and also the other two the last dimension is 9 between these two points. Ok, fully constrained sketch. I hide the plane and I apply sweep. This is the curve, the path and the problem is because I want to apply here a mirror and if I use join I include this I don't want to include this this is why I select new solid option okay now we have here two objects you see one and two I apply mirror for this as a whole about this plane okay now I combine them to have only one volume okay now we want to create this uh, volume by using uh, an extrusion we don't have dimensions we only see this line to apply that extrusion we select this face we project 
all the face and also these lines and arcs F7 and you see this is the close contour to apply extrude extrude this to the part okay the part has two holes 90 12 and uh, 6.5 they are placed in the center of this two arcs okay we apply again project for the both faces and we apply hole everything is already set it here 1296.5 I only select the two points okay now we can apply fillet we have this prescription all fillets are radius 2 we select an edge we apply fillets plus this and the other then uh, this plus all this okay let's see what is the volume i properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is uh, acceptable i erase this i keep this okay then we select the material steel carbon and uh, view visual style shaded and uh, the lights are default let me apply f6 and you see we have no differences okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye